All right, what's up, everybody? This is JTS812 back once again, bringing you some more Assassin's Creed. This time, Assassin's Creed Revelations Wanted. Now, um, I know that in the last video, I said I planned on actually doing some more ACR content, and I just decided I'll just sit down and I'll play a little bit of ACR and you know see what happens. Uh, I'm using Disguise Poison in this set. I actually planned on playing a little bit of deathmatch, but I didn't get that. I ended up getting wanted, so I decided to just stay and play and, you know, see what happens here. So, um, my first target here, the gladiator, uh, I think he's AFK, so I take full advantage. I know he's not AFK the rest of the match. You'll see. He's like my first three targets, I think. Um, so, yeah, I get my first blood, my incognito poison focus. It was very nice. I... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I'm here in Whispers. I have a feeling he is on the rooftop, so I'm gonna go up here and check it out. And yes, there he is. Uh, get a nice little ninja chop to the back of his head and move on back to Scarlet Slayer, the beast that he or she may be. So I can see him here. I know that he knows who I am. And actually, it looked like he was gonna run at me <laughs> I think he was gonna charge me on the rooftop which would have been kind of funny but I didn't want to risk it he was also close to that chase breaker and I just read rather just get the kill and move on uh, rather than you know maybe get a grab kill by him running at me um, I didn't want to risk him getting away so I just went for the kill and now making my way back to Scarlet Slayer who just spawned in again so he is my <laughs> target once again uh, and I'm gonna get the nice little aerial here start hearing whispers so I immediately flip disguise and look for my pursuer I can see the deacon right there and he doesn't know who I am so I'm just gonna you know help him out a little bit and get my streak bonus oh hey helmet boy you are on the rooftop why are you on the rooftop get that nice little grab kill and wall eject <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go for a drop stun here but this guy he knows what it is. He knows. He knows exactly what it is, but I guess he doesn't know the oldest trick in the book. Get a nice little corner stun. And I got greedy here. <laughs> Just wasn't even paying attention to the whispers or the po or the da da da. The uh, the fact that I had pursuers and I saw my target was kind of close. I had poison, and I was like, I'm going to get this poison off, and I just tried to run towards it, and I uh, just wasn't thinking straight, as my pursuer kills me pretty fast, and immediately my target gets killed. I love that. Um, it was a nice little contract that I lost, and I get the grounded finish. I go for grounded finishes. I'll just say that up front. I, I go for them like five times in this match. I don't know why. There was times where I definitely should have went for the grounded finish, and I went for it anyway. It was, I don't know, easy points, but it was a mistake a couple times, you'll see. Um, I dropped down because I knew I could get a poison off on this guy, and I was able to do it. The Deacon, like a weasel, you just got poisoned, buddy. And now I move on underneath this banister. Is it a banister? It's probably not a banister. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh... <laughs> gonna make my way back to the guardian oh the gladiator I just saw that B prompt how you doing buddy you were being quite sneaky and I didn't recognize you till that B prompt popped up and hello <laughs> um, this is Jimagination by the way this dude is the most annoying player ever so he's gonna get <laughs> he's gonna be really obvious and get killed by his target or pursuer which is my target and I get the easy silent You'll see in this match, that Jimagination guy, who is the thespian, I think, um, is extremely annoying. Uh, it doesn't show as much in this match, but the next match that I, I think I get about 10k. I'm not going to upload that, I don't think, but he was the most annoying player you could possibly imagine. Like, what you're about to see right now, um, not right now, as soon as I... I don't want to spoil it. You know what? I don't want to spoil it. Let's let's just let the cards play out. So I'm hearing whispers here, and I couldn't think. There's no possible way that he is behind me. 
How is it possible that he is behind me when he killed me in the middle of the map? I don't know how he got there already and was able to kill me for a discreet kill, which is what he is prone to do. Uh, yeah, the last match started off so bad. Or the next match, it started off so bad. He ended up getting like eight kills in the first half of the match and was still losing. Uh, here's another me going for a grounded finish for no reason because I don't even get it. I don't know what the hell just happened there. That was weird. Um, anyway, yeah, the next match, he gets eight kills for horrible points. I mean, it was chase kills and 150 to 200 point kills every time, but he got eight kills in the first half of the match. It was insane, and it was so annoying. And he ended up quitting after I drop killed him. <laughs> it was actually pretty funny. Uh, he he, I lured my pursuer up to the rooftop, and he ended up killing my pursuer. But then I immediately ran up and was in grab kill position. So he tried to drop a smoke, and I didn't fall. And he just stayed there and let me get a grab kill on him. It was pretty funny. Um, oh, and thank you, helmet guy, for not smashing the square X button as I was coughed on a uh, trip mine that was in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so he got caught on it too and uh, I was able to get the stun off and this was actually pretty risky I was right in front of him I'm really surprised that you know he didn't see the B prompt and stun me because I was for sure that I was gonna get stunned there and no trigger happies I'm not going to play Assassin's Creed Revelations with you I don't know if you're watching this video I don't know exactly how you sent me an invite because I always ghost when I'm playing um, ACR, I always ghost when I do that, and I don't know who you are to begin with, so, yeah. Um, no, I usually do not take, uh, invites when I'm playing ACR, or most games. I like playing solo, personally. It's just, like, what I like to do. Um, so I knew that I was in a chase, and obviously I was gonna jo go for the drop stun, and of course my target gets killed, and this is what I'm talking about. I went for a grunt finish here. I shouldn't have. I had two tar I had two pursuers, and Jimagination was clearly my pursuer after I just stunned him, so he gets my contract again and decides he's gonna run full blast and chase kill me. Yeah, so. Now, my target's this way. I know he's going to come this way, so I'm going to try to flip this guy's and get a nice little cutoff poison here. Uh, he ends up jumping towards me. I think I'm going to get a nice little hit in. Oh, the B prompt. The B prompt. So I get stunned because there's a giant B prompt on the top of my head. I am so glad that they fixed that in Assassin's Creed 3 because that was annoying. And a Jimagination ends up being the guy that runs right into my poison and drops a smoke for no fucking reason god damn so actually there's been some new stuff out on Assassin's Creed 3 if you haven't um, if you haven't noticed uh, there's uh, IGN or no it's Machinima the Machinima had a uh, multiplayer video that uh, a couple of people took still shots on the abilities and apparently there's no charge and no mute if you haven't heard uh, which is interesting. I actually kind of like the fact that they don't do that. Um, the first thought that I come to mind anyway is the fact that ACR was just such a defensive game. You can see in this game, I try not to play very defensively. Even though I'm using Disguise Poison, um, I do play a little defensively. Like right now, I would usually not go for this stun. You know, I would usually, if I was playing Brotherhood, I would try to make a move and get to my target. We're there, I actually went for the stun. Um, so that's kind of what it felt like in ACR. It was just too much of a defensive. This was a mistake on my part. I thought I had poison. I thought I'd be able to run up there and poison him. Um, but he was obviously just standing there waiting for a pursuer to run into his smoke bomb. And that's exactly what I did. I thought I had poison, but I didn't, unfortunately. Um, anyway, yeah, ACR just felt always like a defensive game, and I think that, you know, the fact that, you know, Charge and Mute it will not be in the game, hopefully, I don't, I don't know if it, if it was just a glitch or, you know, they didn't add those to the beta, um, but, you know, if it isn't in the game, I think it might be for the good, because I personally would rather AC3 be an offensive game, a game where, 
you know, you want to kill your target. You know, that's, I feel like that's what Assassin's Creed should be about. It shouldn't be about you want to stun somebody to get extra points or something like that. Um, that's just me personally. I think it'll be a good idea. Um, but yeah, time is winding down. I think this game is over with. Uh, I can't get a final contested kill or stun or even a you know chase kill at the end to break the to break the 11k barrier. But I finished with 10-9, so it was a very good game, especially without smoke bomb and ACR or knives even, because you know <laughs> that burst detection meter is not great for wanted sometimes as people are prone to run. But uh, it didn't happen so much this game. I got pretty lucky with um, the noobs in here. They weren't overly aggressive, I should say. Gym imagination was kind of annoying, but it wasn't too bad. Um, I hope you guys liked the gameplay. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.